It's beginning to look a lot like Christmas. Tweet da Merry Christmas to you! It's everyone's favorite Christmas warbler. It's me, Partridge, in a pear tree. Scottish. I think that's a fake accent. Flower power. Girl power. Girl band. Try and forage who I am. My true love gave to me second place and 12 days of Christmas. Ooh, I... Christmas songbook. Is it a singer? I'm a traditionalist, me, sitting in my pear tree, writing books. I can really relate to Ebenezer. Somebody that's played Ebenezer Scrooge before? But I'm a far more popular partridge, cos I've had success across the bird pond. Stay up into Christmas, while back at home in the nest... Who's a twin? Also, party in the kitchen. There's a show called Saturday Kitchen. I let a team out at Lord's. <laughs> so get the pipers piping and the drummers drumming. I'm heading to stage. Wonderful time of the year. What? I think I'll recognize that voice. With the kids jingle belling and everyone telling you be of good cheer. It's the most wonderful time of the year. Wow! I thought they've got a good voice. It's the most wonderful time of the year. There'll be much mistletoeing, hearts will be glowing when loved ones are here. It's the most wonderful time of the year. Someone who's confident on stage. Let's do a little step on change. There'll be parties for hosting marshmallows and toasting and caroling out in the snow. There'll be scary ghost stories, tales of the glory. I feel like it's someone's theatrical. It's the most wonderful time. It's the most wonderful time. Oh, the most wonderful time. So good. Partridge in a pear tree. Jonathan, start us off. Well, what a great start. Happy Christmas, Partridge. Yeah. Let's say happy Christmas to Partridge and your pears. <laughs> in the clues, you mentioned twins. There was a mention of drummers drumming. Someone I know who's a drummer and a twin and who's also pretty tall, because that's a big person inside Partridge, mm. is Luke Goss from the band Gross. Luke oh, Goss. Ooh. OK. Rita. The flower power led me down a more sort of nature gardening route. I heard second place, maybe he may have presented at the Chelsea Flower Show. Nesting, foraging, where do you nest? In a garden. And then I landed on Alan Titchmarsh. Yes. Yes. Audience seemed to like that name. Leona, welcome to the show. Yay! <laughs> Partridge, I love that performance. You referred to Lord, so I think you're a cricketer. And then there was mention of Saturday, and Molly King from the Saturdays is married to the cricketer Stuart Broad. Yes. Yes! That's a very, very good guess. Davina. Partridge, you're a bird. Maybe it's someone who can fly, someone who's got a pilot's licence, someone who's written lots of cookery books. And I think after seeing the clues Saturday and Kitchen, it might be James Martin. James oh, Martin is a good that guess. That is a good guess. Great. Mo. I heard them say I uh, had success across the pond, a show Love Island. I think it could be <gasps> Ian Sterling under there. Oh! <laughs> oh! Guys, seeing as it's Christmas, we thought we'd give you an extra clue. 
in front of you is something to help. Cracker the clue. Okay. Davina, can you please pull yeah. the cracker and read out the joke? Okay, you two pull for me. Oh, oh, look at that. It's a little gift in here. A little oh, gift is a little. It's like a little. Oh, it's a little oh, book. That's oh, that's oh, cute. Oh, that's a notebook. Wow. Okay, the clue is, what does the frog say when it receives books for Christmas? Read it. Read it. Read it. Read it. Read it. So, writer books. Read it is also, it's like a site. Because, you know, it said tweet yes, it instead of site. Twitter. So Social it's media. Like a, it's it's a... Elon Musk. It could be Elon Musk in there. <laughs> if that performance has got you guessing, we'll reveal their identity when the mask comes off. Let's hear it for Partridge in a pear tree. <laughs> Are the panel flying high with these guesses? Or has the festive fowl left them in a flap? Who do you think's behind the mask? Lords are leaping. James Martin! The panel don't have a clue who the partridge in a pear tree could be. 